Earlier in this unit, we talked about x-intercepts, where the function crosses the x-axis, or which x-inputs produce a zero output. These are also called roots, or solutions of the function, and I'll probably use all three words interchangeably when talking about them. When you are asked to find the solutions, or solve a quadratic, you are being asked to find the x-intercepts. There are a few ways we're going to do this, and one of the easiest ways is by inspection. This is a fancy way to say we figured it out by looking at the graph. You're already a parabola graphing expert, so why don't you try drawing the graph of x minus 2 squared minus 1? Hit that pause button if you want to try it. Otherwise, here it comes in 3, 2, 1. We just move Joe Average over to the right 2 and then down 1. Nice! Alright then, where are those x-intercepts? Well, it's not hard to see. We just find the place where the function crosses the x-axis, and we can see that it happens at x equals 1 and x equals 3. That's it! Those are our solutions. What about the function negative 0.5x plus 5 squared? Well, this function only has one solution. Its vertex is the only point that touches the x-axis, so x equals negative 5 is the only x-intercept. Remember that you can even have zero solutions if the parabola doesn't cross the x-axis. Well, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Can you think of any cases where this method might not work? I've got two for you right here. The first one is when the x-intercept isn't clear on the graph. Consider y equals x minus 3 squared minus 2. I don't know about you, but I don't feel confident about my ability to figure out which decimal that is between 1 and 2. It's 1.586, by the way. Yucky. The second case is when you are unable to graph the function. Up until now, we've only learned to graph quadratics that are in vertex form. So if you're given something like 3x squared minus 6x plus 7, graphing probably wouldn't be your first choice to solve it. Luckily, there are other ways to solve functions that look like that, and we'll be getting into that next time.